Shalom, all praises to Yahweh, Bar Sham, Yahweh Shai. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, and Shalom to you, sincere Akio, out there laboring in this truth. This is um, Payala. This video, I just want to go over some news article that I basically came across when I'm checking out some updating myself on the recent events, recent going on. Um, and it reads, Chaotic Moon explores biometric tattoos for medicine and, mil and the military. Okay. Um, now, basically, this company is going about making um, biometric tattoos that do everything, you know, where it says on the cover. Biometric meaning, um, like, all measurements of your, um, of your body. The word bio means body and metric means measurement. So it's all the measures of your body activities that you do, you know, your height, your health, um, temperature. So the reason why they do that is so they can medicate you when you're fe feeling poorly and um, also for the military to basically, you know, to keep um, stats on the activity of soldiers on the, the battlefield. And as you know, if you're familiar, um, the GMS LA camp had on two occasions they had a Liberian um, dude Jake come past um, the camp, basically said he had like loads of chips in him. I believe it was him. He said he got bare chips in him, loads of different chips all in his body. And then there was also an Iskarite come a few weeks later and said he was getting ready to go into the military and said how he was going to get chipped. You know, the, the brothers at Akim were warning him, but he, he didn't. As far as what you could see, it didn't look like he wanted to take heed. He wanted to go fight and die for America, okay? So um, this is the article as it reads, the, the future of wearables could be linked on your skin. Chaotic Moon, okay, this company, a software designer development firm based in Austin, Texas, is developing a high-tech tattoo made of components and conductive paint to create circu circuitry um, circuit tray, circuitry to basically turn you into a cyborg, uh, collect health or other biometric data from your body. Now that's the way they sell it. They sell it like you're turning into a cyborg and they, they try and sensationalize the mark of the beast because all this, all these, um, leaps and bounds in so-called making and technology is for one thing and one thing only is to establish Esau, the so-called white man's new world order, and his his attempt to get him back his blessing that he basically lost out on. Okay. So um, also to note this when you check out this company Chaotic Moon, the 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 logo for the firm is actually a one-eyed something that looks like an alien with one eye. So you know that they're part they're down with, you know, they're juiced in to um, the Illuminati in some form of, or way. Chaotic Moon's tattoo kit is in the nascent prototype stage right now, but CEO Ben Lam told me it will be able to collect and upload health and informational data, uh, much like Jawbone or the Apple Watch and send it to the medical staff or maybe even the military. Okay, now even when you check out, go on their their YouTube website, they basically show you they've got something called, um, you know, you've got Bitcoin, where basically it's a, a digital currency, which basically you dig for currency and they have a, a value. Recently, they said the value of one Bitcoin was um, the same as the value of one ounce of gold. So basically, this is done by digitally uh, digging mining for that bitcoin um and it, it takes a lot of time to get one and you really need a supercomputer if you really want to get that anyway but basically what these guys made was a fit coin which basically is a, a app or some form of technology a re wearable technology where whereby um the more you work out the more you mine for bitcoin so that's one of the you know a way there making it attractive to get into the wearables technology. And it also had another thing known as um, free will, which is basically for um, disabled um, wheelchair 
um, people disabled in a wheelchair, which basically they have some technology fit into their wheelchair and it basically maps out the area where they move about in. So they, they're basically building up um, Intel for a database and they said it can be accessed by anyone, more or less. They said it to the, you know, basically on the level of um, pub, the public. But we know that, you know, if, if anyone's really gonna delve into that data, it's gonna be the, the, the rulers of this, of this society, okay? Because they showed you a similar kind of thing as well in the Batman movie. I, I can't, I believe the Dark Knight one, where it shows you that um, basically um, Bruce Wayne, played by Christopher, I can't remember his name, full name at this particular time, but basically he had a sonar system, a bat sonar system, which basically used the the um, the signal from all the cell phones all over the city to project an image without him having to see and that's basically what they're doing with all this um, technology wearable tech that people use to monitor their their their, their biometric um, readings but also it tracks the area that, that um, they work out in and it's mapping it out for the elites basically so they can monitor and understand the, um, the fashions of the people where they move to and where they go through building up more intel cookies so to speak um, Chaotic Moves Tattoo Kick is nascent prototype stage right now but CEO Ben Lam told me it will be able to collect and upload health and informational data like Jawbone or Apple Watch and send it to medical staff or maybe even the military this is the new wearable, Lamb told TechCrunch. The future of wearable is bio-wearables. And this is basically, the bio t um, tattoo is basically just, it's, it's, it's readying you for the RFID chip implant. Because what they'll end up saying is, oh, this, you know, it can be, you know, easily, um, you know, um, what's the word, rubbed off your skin. So the best the, the best step to take is an RFID chip, which is secure on your body, and um, you know monitors you more clearly, and at the same time can't be counterfeited because counterfeited because it's in your inside of your flesh. This is not something that we can easily. Um, this is not something that can be easily removed like a Fitbit. It can be underneath a flak jacket, directly on the skin to be collecting this data. And being reported back, Lamb said, of military applications. Well, we know. See, this is what they do, man. Esau basically has already got things in 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 um in in the running, but he'll make it out like he's making the steps towards that when that's already the end goal's already been fulfilled. So they're saying all this, but then if it weren't under a flat jacket, then you know it could be easily removed. So the RFID chip would be the next step. The tattoo is temporary and washes off, see? Much like a temporary fashion tattoo. According to Chaotic Moon, the tat will be, have the ability to monitor, monitor body temperature and detect if someone is stressed based on sweat, heart rate and hydration level information uploaded via bla Bluetooth or location-based low-frequency mesh networks like those used for apps like Jot or Firecat, FireChat. Chaotic Moon is best known for fire-breathing drones and Bitcoin earning fitness trackers. But Lam said the tattoo project was one of the most one of the most exciting his studio has worked on. We get to do a lot of cool stuff um, at cha Chaotic Moon, but with this we think there's military applications for it, health applications for it, and there are all kinds of opportunities around it. Now just seeing this, they use um, believe they use RFID NFC technology in this case and you see that all the possibilities are saying bio track biometric measurement okay the ability to dig bitcoins and mapping your area and they say it's sim similar to what Apple pay all right okay Apple watch and Apple pay, all these different um, these different apps so the RFID chip would be the most ubiquitous complete form of technology that utilizes all these different forms of technology into one um one place basically which would just make it very straightforward for 
for Esau, you know what I mean? So um, all of these other technologies would basically die out and it would it show, basically the point being that it shows you that you can buy stuff, you know, you can be tracked with it. So the RFID chip is the mark of the beast. And Nate inf infamously said that, like, you know, chips are made for tracking. Where's my dog? But you can find your dog, but then you can also find, you, you, you know, you can also buy things with the RFID chip because that same technology is found in your debit card. Over here in London, we have Oyster cards, okay, which is used in London. It's the only, aside, you can use paper tickets, but it's, it's um, you'd be basically bumping yourself if you do that. But, but, um, but basically, the Oyster card is, you know, used for travel on the London transport system. Okay, so this this technology is basically out there and ready in the use. You also mentioned using the tattoos for location tracking during concerts or keeping track of your kid and the music box. That's right. So it's basically a, a nice. That's the logo there. You see the one eye with a little squiggle underneath, and basically that's the way of sensationalizing it, making it comely to the eyes. Basically, some of the attraction for the military use could include the tech tax potentially detecting poisons in the air pathogens in a soldier's body and identifying when they are hurt or stressed okay and they said they could also utilize this technology for medication one you know that's needed to track so they could meet the you know know when they gotta go out and meet the doctor so to speak but also on I, um, RFID te technology they said that they could lace them with cyanide I'm um, sorry they could lace them with medication it could deposit into the body as often as needed but the same they could they said they lace it also with poisons to kill anyone off you know if they don't keep true to the, the system okay so um it's an eco e eco-friendly non-invasive use of a platform that basically turns you into a human circuit board biometric tats are and that human circuit board really is a um, a pool of data man uh, you you'll be utilized as a as a source of um um of energy man for lack of a better word biometric tests are promising but not original cyberpunks or grinders as they are sometimes called from a strange and fascinating sculpture of folks who like to manipulate their bodies with technology technology technological implants while much of the grinder culture centers on cutting cells open and surgically installing magnets RFID chips and other components for biohacking purposes there's been some small ramblings on the subject of biometric tattoos okay um, this is really the point you know I really got to the point so what I wanna I guess you can you can read it you know see fit and it's got a vi the videos are quite interesting but I want to get into this one script now this is on um, revelations 13 um, um, gonna get straight to the point revelations 13 and 16 and it causes all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads okay now this word for mark which we know and identify as an RFID chip. The word there is Karagma, okay? Strong's G, 5480, Karagma, Karagma. Okay, a stamp, an imprinted mark, or the mark stamped on the forehead in the right hand, the badger follows the Antichrist, the mark branded upon horses, thin carved, sculptured, graven out. Okay, now when you look up this word, what you find is it goes back to the word quiet quiet. Okay. Which um basically goes back to the word written for tattoos or um making markings for um making markings which is against the law, incisions in the flesh, okay? So now I wanna go to the root word of this um, so 
bear with me. Okay, it tells you a pell or stake. Pell side corrects the word there. Strong's G fifty four eighty two, Harax, Harax. Right, a stake. You know, like a stake you'd use for a tent to hold down a tent. Yep, that's that's the word there. That's what would be used to make the incision. Okay. Um, or incision will be made by a stake. But um, the point I want to go to is the root word for that is grapho, okay? Which means to write with reference to the form of letters, okay? So this is the root word of corax. And basically, this is where they're going to... Um, grapho basically means to write. And basically is to write all the details, your biometric um, readings inside of the R RFID chip. Which really shows you that this whole biohacking thing, dealing with the um, chaos, um, the biometric, biometric tattoos for medicine and, mili and the military, basically shows you that, you know, they're gonna utilize this this tech form of technology is just a step, stepping stone, ultimately for the RFID chip. So with that, man, I pray you're edified. I want to say we'll praise to you, by Shai, double one of us unto the apostles and elders of great millstone, and shalom to you sincere, Akim, shalom.